This is Walter, 10 month old French Bulldog. He will attack hands of the owner and arms when his collar is grabbed. So here's how I'm gonna deal with this. One, I don't wanna get bit, okay? Nobody likes to get bit. Trainers hate to get bit. It sucks for everybody. He does bite hard. The owner has marks all over arms and he bit her son and hurt his hand pretty well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to deal with this with positive reinforcement. So I'm gonna grab the collar. You see that? He does not wanna be grabbed. If I grab him, I am probably not gonna let go. I don't care what he does. I am not the person to let go when a dog tries to bite me. That's just not what I do. That's what owners do, okay? They don't know any better, but I'm not gonna do it. So you gotta be careful, okay? If he, if I grab him and he starts to go up my hand, I'm not letting go. Um, I'm not saying you do that, but that is one way to deal with it. So I'm gonna do the positive reinforcement way. So I'm gonna present the hand, I'm gonna grab the collar, and I'm gonna treat. I wanna build up this guy's classical conditioning response to be collar grabs, mean gets treats, hence collar grabs are good. Not collar grabs are a thing. I go and I look at their hand or I bite their hand and they let go. Okay, collar grabs mean treats are coming. I have chicken, boiled chicken, use a good treat. Don't use the store-bought hard treat. And you can't just sit here and grab their collar and treat them, ba 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 ba. You need to do this, collar grab, treat. Then you need to be more real world situations. So even this is different, right? Collar grab, treat. And you don't even have to give a big treat. This is more scary in real world. Collar grab, he did not look comfortable with that collar grab, but I built up a little bit already of you get a treat. Collar grab, treat. Now, lots of times they bite or nip or whatever when you start to pull them somewhere. Now, sometimes trainers, positive reinforcement trainers will be like, well, just don't grab their collar and take them places. Yeah, well, that's not the real world. Grabbing a dog's collar and saying, hey, it's time to go into the crate. You have to go in the house. Whatever it is, is part of life. Okay, so we need to deal with that. Ready? And walk and treat. And pull and treat. Look what I'm using, by the way. Am I messing around? No, dude, I'm using the greatest treat ever. Boiled chicken. Now let's put it all together. So I've done collar grab. Now we're gonna do it. And treat. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. And treat. And by the way, you can give a lot of these treats. It's chicken. Chicken is a very natural thing that's not gonna mess with their stomach for the most part. Collar grab, move around, and treat. Ooh, that was good. Good. Am I done? No, I need to be doing this throughout the day. Go up to him, maybe when he's agitated, grab and treat. <gasps> Walter, come in. Hi, buddy. And treat. Okay? Oh, look at that. So, it would avoid, avoid, avoid. I got him, I treated. We're going to also help the avoiding, okay? Walter. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. Nibble, nibble, nibble. Oh, hi, doggy. Hi, doggy. That was the worst, right? That's what people, random people do. People do not approach a dog. I don't know how to approach a dog. They go, oh, can I pick your doggy? I'm gonna follow everything up that he doesn't like with a treat. He's been very good. We haven't seen the behavior. I'm glad, because it sucks. Like, I'd rather use positive reinforcement and reinforce the heck out of the good stuff than grab a collar, have the guy try to bite me, and get into a battle with him. But sometimes a little battle is what you have to get into, but you should do this most of the time and try this first, but you've got to be careful. If every time you grab the dog's collar and it goes ah, and it mouths you, not even a hard bite, but a mouth and you let go, why would the behavior ever stop? It won't. So be careful about letting go. Treat. Okay, one more, then we're done. Walter. Hi, Walter. 
Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Walter. Walter. I'm trying to be like a kooky person, right? That has weird things. Dogs got to deal with kooky people that do weird things. Follow everything up with a treat. Good treats. <gasps> Hi. Hi. Annoying. That was the most annoying thing ever that I just did to him. And he dealt with it. Follow it up with a treat. Oh, this guy's going to start to be like, man, when people grab me, when people do annoying things, I get treats. I just like a uh, friggin' chicken breast on this guy. Look at this. The classical conditioning response to anyone going like this to him is going to be one of happiness, not one of dread. Because of the reinforcement I used, the amount of reinforcement I used, and the scenarios making it very real, okay? The pulling, the, the, the reaching, and how I started. Now, if I would have started with a reach, he might have tried to bite me. I didn't start with a reach. I started with a touch, treat, touch, treat. All right, that's collar grabbing for the dog that doesn't want his collar grabbed. 